I'll start by, you know, saying I know there was an incident with Caitlin ran into a fan running off the floor, and, you know, I want to apologize to her and their entire program. Um, she's had such a spectacular performance today, and she's such a great player, and that should never happen. And so I feel really badly. Um, so hopefully she's okay and that doesn't um, have any affect her moving forward. But that is extremely unfortunate. Um, it shouldn't happen to anybody, but, man, such a great player like Caitlin. I really hate that. And so... Um, you know, I know we had security in place, but student apparently beat us, beat the security. So um, I, I really feel badly about that. Uh, thanks for the time, Coach. Congrats on the win. Uh, your, your plan today looked like was drive into the paint and establish an inside game. How happy were you with the results of that and being able to stay so close in the game? Early on? Yeah, you know, I just I, th I thought they would play a lot of zone, and I didn't want to just fall in love with the three. Um, I knew we needed to get some balance in our offense, and we did. And I thought, in particular, Cody was excellent around around the rim, finishing, getting fouled. Um, we did get some threes, and we made some big ones. Um, but I think overall, the balance we were looking for, we achieved. And how much more uh, on the Cody piece? How much more dangerous is Cody when? she's getting those and one opportunities. She's hitting layups and she's hearing the whistle and it just seems like it fires her up. How do you see her change when that happens? Yeah, I mean, she, you know, going back to prior to Christmas, she was kind of in a little bit of a funk there. She wasn't playing real well. And she has practiced extremely hard and extremely well every single day since we came out of the Christmas break. And so I'm really happy to see her be able to apply that to the game today. And she was just so effective around the rim and, and you could see her physicality and aggression really coming through and uh, really fun to watch. In those final moments of the game, you had girls out there who had four fouls. How much trust did you have in players like Celeste and players like Theory to make sure they weren't going to get that fifth foul, and which would have been huge in this, huge in this match? Yeah, and I think that um, <clears throat> we certainly we got in some foul trouble, um, but that was really big that and I thought Ricky, Emma, Madison, uh, even Ty when she was in, they all gave us good minutes off the bench, which we needed given the foul trouble that we were in. And, and I think they made good decisions late in the game to not get that fifth foul. Games you struggled with the three, but this this matchup you really picked it up in a huge game where you needed it. How much is that due to the fact you guys have been able to find success down low, which opened up opportunities? Yeah, I thought the more we got the ball around the basket, the, the more um, it opened up the outside to get better looks at the three. And so I think that had a lot to do with, you know, shooting a better percentage today. Kevin, you've been a women's basketball coach here for a long time. Have you ever seen an environment quite like today's and just how special is that? Uh, it was incredible. I'm, I'm just so proud of our community, the way they came out to support us and, and a, a great Iowa team. And it was just an incredible game by two good teams. Um, you know, Caitlin Clark's a spectacular player. And, and I know that was a big draw, and, and she delivered. She was absolutely unbelievable. Um, Cody was unbelievable, and just a, just a great game. And, and so I, I'm, you know, for fans who have never been here before, hopefully that keeps them coming back. And because I thought, you know, you saw a, a really a team playing extremely hard, extremely well, and, and, and really together. And so I think we're a fun group to watch. And so hopefully we we can continue to build on this. Yeah going off that just how kind of how big of a springboard do you think this can be for your team I hope so I mean um, you, know, you know if you if you watch this play today I think number one like recruits that's a fun style to play and that's a team that plays hard and plays well together and, um, and like I said for people who haven't seen us before I think they probably enjoyed that so so hopefully we can keep building um, with our attendance Kevin there was a stretch there in that second half it might have been third quarter where Cody just wasn't getting any call and it seemed frustrating for you and for her. What, how much has Cody grown mentally in the aspect of not being able to let that bother her too much and being able to put that, put that aside and finish the game the way she did? Yeah, no doubt. And, and you know, she's such a unique player because uh, she, unlike most people in women's basketball, can play through contact. And so sometimes, you know, she, she's not going to get all the calls that other people are going to get because it, it just doesn't look the same because she's playing through the contact. And so she did a great job today of kind of maintaining her composure and continuing to play the game the right way and, and the right way for us. Did you, and one more thing for you, you mentioned her maintaining composure. She mentioned, obviously, she hasn't played the way she's wanted to the last what, few games. Yeah. But any players to be your best player. No doubt. 
does that kind of a microcosm of her right now to be able to kind of overcome some of this stuff to be show up when you guys need her the most? Yeah, she was really determined. And um, she's been determined in practice this week, and she was really locked in and focused. And, you know, hopefully this is a great reminder for her when, when her focus and energy is as it was today, how special she can be and how much she can impact this team. Kevin. Hello. Yes. Um, you played this team twice last year very well. Not quite there. Yep. You went out and got Celeste this mm -hmm. offseason. How big was she today in all aspects of this game? Yeah, she's a great player. She played extremely hard and, and you know, she made a she had a lot of hustle plays today. She dove on the floor, she tipped balls, and um, and I think you're starting to see her become more comfortable with us offensively. And and I think she's still even got a higher ceiling in, in our system and so hopefully she can continue to get better and I think you'll even see more out of her down the stretch. Do you think this team in general has a higher ceiling? I do. It's really interesting because if you look at our season last year, we had something really unique happen. And you, you usually peak once a year. And last year, we kind of peaked in the first month of the season. We were playing great basketball. Then we had a bunch of injuries and things kind of changed. And then we got healthy again and we sort of peaked at the end again and played well. I think with this year's team, it's going to be a little bit of a more of a slow, gradual climb. and. I told them we wouldn't have won this game three weeks ago. We just weren't playing well enough. But we've gotten better with our defense. We've gotten better with our rebounding. Um, and we still have a, a ways to go to be who I think we're capable of being. And forgive me, I have one more. We talked about, everybody talked about Cody in this game because she was great. Emma came in and was fantastic. Everybody contributed in some small fact. I mean, how important was that to have everybody do something big in this game? Yeah, I mean, if you're going to beat a great team like Iowa, you got to have you got to have contributions from multiple people. But I thought Emma's two threes were absolutely huge because we were really in a lull there scoring wise. I also thought uh, I forget uh, she didn't play a lot of minutes, but Ty gave us some really good good energy and good minutes off the bench as well. Kevin. Uh, Going back to Dan's question about the atmosphere, you also had a number of players from other sports here today. I mean, Marvin Harrison Jr. sitting front yeah. row. To see the support from our, yeah. you know, part of the Buckeye family, but have their own things to focus on. What does that mean for, for your program and just Buckeye Nation in general? Yeah, I think it's really cool. That's one of the things that makes Ohio State special is just the, the support that the athletes give each other. And so it was, it was really fun to see all the, a lot of those football guys here and enjoying it. And so, you know, hopefully they'll keep coming back. Um, going into overtime, what was, where was the confidence level in this team? What did you feel like the team can accomplish, and did you feel like you kind of had it in the bag at that point? Well, I didn't feel like we had it in the bag, but I, I felt confident because just the way we had come back and, and the way we were playing um, when regulation ended, and it was really the message was just like, hey, we got five more minutes, everything we got. We're playing to win, and we're going to lay it all out there on the floor. You still have one more matchup against Iowa in Iowa. So what is the expectations after this matchup that you – think you'll see out of them, especially that being the last matchup in the season before the Big Ten tournament? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we talked about it in the in the locker room that, you know, we, we've taken a couple tough losses and had to bounce back from them, and now we got to handle success. And so we just had a big win. I told them to enjoy it today, and then tomorrow we're moving on to the next game. And so, you know, when we play at Iowa in the last game of the regular season, we need to be a better team than we are today um, because they're going to be better. And they get better throughout the year, and we need to do the same thing. And so, you know, hopefully we'll have another good matchup out there. Coach, the last time you guys played Iowa was obviously in the Big Ten uh, Championship of the tournament last year. How much did you guys study the film from last year? Obviously, a whole new team. You have a whole new team. They have a whole new team. How much did you study the film from last year to prepare for this game? Yeah, we, we looked at it a little bit. Now, we've had enough games this year to really see what they're doing because um, they're a little different. Um, but, they, you know, they do a lot of the same stuff. And so... Um, but we've really watched a lot of film with them recently. And, you know, they're a great team. They're really, really hard to match up with them. Um, Kalen does such an excellent job, like, coming off of ball screens. And if you're not – if you're the person guarding the screener isn't real active helping the guard getting over, then she's going to turn the corner or step back and shoot it. But then when you do that, they're rolling and she's reading the role and the person helping to take the role and she's she's reading those perfectly she does that as well as anyone i've ever seen in 30 years of college basketball um so she makes it really hard to to, to guard oh, just another question um i know we've talked a lot about celeste taylor and taylor theory already uh two great defenders for you this season and obviously taylor was a slip see me taylor theory was a great defender for you last season as well how much did the early fouls change the game prep and 
what kind of impact did Madison Green bring to, on defense? Yeah, it was tough because, like, you know, we, we started out, our plan was, like, Celeste's going to guard Caitlin and then Taylor's going to guard her when, when she's out, and then all of a sudden they both get in foul trouble. So, uh, as they say, best laid plans just go out the window. So we were kind of winging it there for a while. And um, I thought Madison gave us some good minutes, though, and just kind of keeping her in front of her. I know you've had some big wins in your tenure here, but to have the number two team come in with the best player in the nation, fall behind, tie it up, <coughs> her score all of their points in overtime, and you guys bury them. I mean, put into perspective, how, um, how big a win is this? It's a huge program. Yeah, it's. I think it's a, it's a huge win for the program. Uh, we beat an incredible team uh, with one of the best players to ever play our sport, and we did it in front of 18,000 people. And so hopefully, the, the significance is hopefully we can really build on that with the momentum with our program this season, but in general, we had a lot of recruits here that I think and love the environment and the atmosphere. It was on NBC. So, you know, it was a, it, it came, I, we came into this thinking this was an incredible opportunity and we capitalized on it. Question for Ask JC about this, uh, being down 12 points in the second half. She said, didn't even realize that they were down 12 points. They just wanted to stay in the game. What does that show about your team that it, the scoreboard doesn't really register to them and they're able to still come back from at that point a double digit deficit? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we have a mature enough team, uh, an experienced enough team, and we've been in these situations where we've been down and we kind of call time out, regroup, and hey, let's let's get back to doing what we were doing that was successful, and, and we did that. But I think it, has, it, it speaks to our experience in our leadership. And then how huge is it, that same communication, that same student-led, like, we're going to take the game back over in a crowd like this, where it doesn't seem like the crowd will get much bigger unless you go Yeah, no, it's huge. I mean, I think player-led teams are the most effective teams, and, and we've got great leadership, and I think it showed today. One last thing. Uh, rebounding has always been something you guys have been working to approve. You have out-rebounded the top Big Ten rebounding team today. So how huge was it to be able to get those, especially offensive rebounds, to force second chances against a team that has Clark, who rarely misses? Yeah, no, it was huge. I, I think um, that was a big part of the game. Is and we we talked about that, you know, because they're one of the best rebounding teams in the league, and so we knew this was going to be a, a huge part of the game. And so I was really happy with our effort. In particular, I thought Cody was great on the boards, and so um, you know, but still an area where we're going to stay focused on. Any last questions for Coach? Thanks, everybody. <laughs>